Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I want to play a scenario from Hostage Negotiator Crime Wave. I just released a video of me duking it out with Donna Scarborough, who's one of the hostage abductors from the first game, but I thought it also might be fun to do someone from Crime Wave using the Crime Wave conversation cards, tarot cards, etc., so you can just see a little bit of the variety of the game. So we're about to get set up here with Barrett Mullins. He is a very cranky man. So, Barrett is furious. He's already killed one hostage and is threatening to kill more. Something has made him go ballistic, but what it is remains unclear. Every attempt to calm him down results in an explosion of rage and Barrett screaming, Just make a damn call! If you're going to save the rest of the hostages from Barrett's wrath, you'll need to find out who you're supposed to call and find out quickly. So, apparently, Barrett needs help using a phone. Okay, not really, but I'm going to be a smart aleck about this. Okay, so the way that he's set up is we have eight hostages in the pool. However, one of them has already been killed at the start of the scenario. So the win condition for hostage negotiator is that you need to rescue at least half of the hostages. And you also have to um, eliminate or capture the abductor in order to win. So he's already taken out a hostage. We need to save four people out of the seven remaining, and that's going to be tough. So we've put Barrett here. He's also already in the kill range in terms of his anger. So what that means is if his threat level goes up anymore, every time that ha every time it goes up, he would kill hostage. So our our thing is we have to get him to calm down so that we can get the hostages out and then deal with him in some way or another. So we've also put his second in command underneath. Basically, if you eliminate the um, original abductor, but there are still hostages in the pool, the second in command will come into play and they sort of work on automated rules until you clear the pool out of hostages. So you don't want to eliminate the abductor too early because otherwise you're setting yourself up on a guaranteed timer to have the second in command kill your hostages, which is awful. It's going to get set up with one major demand. So he has some major demands that are specific to him and we'll shuffle them and choose one randomly. We will also give him an escape demand. So he'll have one of these escape demands, and we don't know which one it's going to be because we're going to shuffle and pull one. So what will he want for escaping? Let's find out later. All right, so that's his escape demand. So that part is taken care of. We're also going to set up a terror deck. So at the bottom of the terror deck, which acts like a timer, if you run out, then uh, he will automatically escape and you lose. Uh, we are going to put one of these at the bottom. So that's our pivotal event. We'll know that the game is reaching an end at that point. We also have these normal tarot cards and we're going to shuffle these up. And we're going to put 10 of them down. And that is our terror deck. So every turn, we're going to have a conversation phase where we try to talk Barrett down. We are going to have a purchasing phase where we get new conversation cards to continue trying to talk Barrett down the next turn. And then we have a terror phase where Barrett does something really, really stupid, usually. So for our part of the setup, we've got our conversation marker at zero, so we don't have any conversation points right now. I've set up our market of conversation cards that we're going to look at during our buy phase. And then I also have this set of zero point cards that we start with every time. So. I have two of what are your demands. We can try to figure out what he wants. Small talk to earn some conversation points for the next buy round and keep cool to try to bring his rage level down a little bit, which we really must do. The other thing that matters a lot about threat level is we can, even, even if we get him down just one, we can go up to rolling two dice at that point. So we have to get him down a little bit. We do have this uh, option called call Barrett's BS. So once per conversation, if the threat level is three or greater, you may discard one conversation card for minus one threat or plus two conversation points. So what we might do is we might actually go ahead and spend one of these keep cools to call Barrett's BS so that he automatically goes down one threat level. Just whew. And then let's go ahead and spend the other keep cool the normal way now that we can roll two dice. Okay, so we got one more success. All right, so we got one more success. And for those of you who haven't seen my other video, basically a five or a six is a success. On a four, you can pay two cards to turn the four into a success. 
but then three, two, and one are blank and they are failures. So we rolled a success and one failure. So we got one success and he is going to go down one on his threat level, which is excellent. Calming him down here. All right, so we have a couple more cards to play. I'd like to know what his demands are, just because knowing the demands matters a lot in the terror phase. Sometimes you're punished for not knowing. So let's ask him what his demands are and see if we get a reveal demand. Excellent. Okay, so we got one more success and this three. So we can reveal one demand or we can get a conversation point. We're going to go ahead and reveal a demand. Let's have a look at what his major demand is. Okay, so the major demand is he wants to talk to his mom. Oh, baby bear, it's all that tramp Jenny Wood did this. Told you those lies about your daddy and turned you against your sweet mama. It's all her fault. All right, so this is a disturbing conversation with his mother. If we decide to let him, we could spend four conversation points to concede during any conversation to roll all five dice, and for each success roll, we can bring him down one. However, if you succeed, there is a penalty. At the beginning of each conversation, you have to discard one conversation card, if able. So basically, I don't want to use this yet because he's going to make me discard cards and it's going to stink. But it's a good emergency measure. So, oh, Barrett Mullins just wants to call his mama. Great. All right, let's see what his other demand is to see if we can get his escape demand out of him too. How are you planning to get out of this, Barrett? Ooh, we got two successes this time. Excellent. So we get to reveal demand and we get two conversation points. So his escape demand is he wants a speed bike. Spend three conversation points to concede during any conversation for plus two dice until the conversation ends. However, if we concede it, the abductor escapes at the end of the conversation. So this would be something that's like a last dish effort for us if we think we're gonna get him and we wanna just take that risk at the end. Okay, so we did easily reveal his demands, that's good. Now we have these small talk cards. Let's go ahead and play them and see how many conversation points we can get. Oh, two successes. So we got three points of small talk there. Let's do it again and see how we do. Okay, so we those are both fours, so we didn't get those. So a fail on this is plus one conversation point, and the conversation ends, which it was about to end anyway, because we just ran out of conversation cards. So we are no longer in active conversation with Barrett Mullins. What's going to happen is we are going to go over here and purchase six points worth of cards for this upcoming conversation. These zero cost cards that I used this round are not available next round. They're going to have to kind of cool down for this next turn, and I can pick them up again the turn after. So we're just going to put them off to the side for now. So Barrett's threat level is a huge problem and we have got to get these hostages out of here. The problem is that if we fail on some of these hostage escort cards, we get people killed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and so let's spend three points on a hostage escort card. That'll be three of our points. Then we have three more to spend. Let's get consider this so that if we screw up on a roll, we can re-roll a die and try to fix it. <laughs> um, that'll happen. Uh, and let's try, let's try to just take a breath so that we can try to bring his threat roll down a little bit. Let's just kind of calm him down as much as we can. So before we can be back on the phone with our friend Barrett, we're going to have a terror phase. So let's have a look at that card. Okay. I don't have time for this. Draw and resolve the next red terror card. So that stinks because basically our timer just went down an extra one this turn. Let's see the next one. Oh shoot, fit of rage. So now he's gonna go up plus two. So he's back up to K. At the end of the next conversation phase, he's gonna go down by one. Ooh. We're gonna put a little alert token here to remind us that at the end of this phase, that's, that's what's going to happen. But yikes. Okay, so he's gonna go down one, but right now he's a little bit nuclear. We gotta calm this situation. Okay. I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to spend my consider this card to call his BS again and pull him down by one. Because Barrett's got a lot of BS. Let's get real. Okay, so now we're back up to two dice. Let's do just take a breath. Let's try to get him to calm down a little bit. Let's just take a breath, Barrett. Just take a breath. Come on. Oh, okay, good. We got one success. So we get to go down one more. 
Come on, Barrett. I know that you don't want to do this. All right, now here's what we're going to do. His anger level is going to go up by one if we don't get a full success. And our conversation is going to end and we add a hostage to the pool if this doesn't work. But we're going to try a hostage escort. We're going to try. So if a hostage is injured, we're willing to send someone in unarmed to escort them out. Is that okay with you, Barrett? Let's see. Did we get any hostages out? No. We did not get any hostages out. Oh, that sucked. Okay. So we're going to add another hostage to the pool. So somebody else in this... This place got dragged into this poor, this awful situation, and that sucked. That totally sucked. So, yeah. Also, this is zero, so we don't actually have any conversation points. Bummer. Okay, so the good news is that we've reached the end of the conversation phase, so this alert token will come off, and his threat level will go down one. So we're moving down into a more reasonable range, but that doesn't last with somebody like Barrett. The good news is that even though I don't have any conversation points, I can pick up my full hand of zero point cards again. So it's going to help us get some points for next turn, and hopefully we'll have a little bit more success with attempted things like hostage escorts, which we're going to need to do because he's so furious. Speaking of furious, we're going to have another terror round. I don't have time for... Oh, come on! Draw and resolve the next terror card. We are really running out of time already. Fit of Rage. Jeez, he's got this pattern going on. So he's going to go up another two now. And then we'll put the alert token back on. He'll go down at the end of the conversation phase. Dang, Barrett. All right, so I think our natural thing that we should do is... We're, we already know what his demands are. So cards in Hostage Negotiator are multi-use. So if I decide to spin two cards, I can turn a four into a success. Or anytime I can spend one card to get a conversation point. So these, what are your demand cards? We already know what his demands are. So we're going to hang on to these and use them when we need them. So let's start with keep cool. See if we can calm this guy down a little bit more. Okay, we got one success. So he's going to calm down a little bit. Good. Let's try keep cool one more time. Keep cool. What's it going to be? Okay, so we got one success. I'm not going to spend cards on that. So it's going to come down to a four. Okay, we're trying to keep cool. Let's see what happens now. Let's do small talk. Come on, Barrett. You wanted to talk on the phone to someone. Why don't you talk to me? I'm happy to talk you down. Let's be calm. This is probably the first woman on the phone that's actually made an effort to talk to you in a while, given that you're so desperate to be on the phone. Two successes. Guess that worked. We're going to go up three. Fantastic. Let's try that again. Don't you want to keep talking on the phone, Barrett? Doesn't it feel so good to have this conversation? Sort of. We got two points. Awesome. So that'll put us a five. The conversation phase is over, so we're going to remove this alert. And he's going to go down to three. So we're working on getting him to chill a little bit here. So we have five conversation points to spend, and we have these two left in our hand. So these guys are going off to the side for a little bit. And with my five points, I'm going to buy another hostage escort for three. And then I'm going to get, just take a breath for two. I think that's a good idea. So we are going to go into this trying to get him to chill a little bit. We can also put these discarded cards back on the market so the zeros stay off on their own, but we can put these unpurchasable ones back for next time. Before anything, though, we're going to have a terror. Ah, oh, this is all your fault. If there were any unrevealed demand cards, his threat would go up one, but as it is, he's going to kill another hostage. Barrett, dude, you got to chill out. All right, we are, our odds of, of success here are dwindling because there are nine hostages, two of them are dead, and none of them are saved. This is rough, but let's try. All right, let's just take a breath, Barrett. Take a breath. Ooh, we got two successes off of that. Okay, so he went down one. Oh, by the way, this was zero. I keep forgetting to reset this. Uh, and then it'll go three. So we got three conversation points out of that, and he dropped one. So, okay. 
All right, we're getting closer to this calmer level. So the thing that's good about getting them to safe is that you can start getting them to try to lower their threat level even more, but because they can't, they release hostages every time they do that. So we can get them here, we can kind of pump a couple hostages out. That's not likely at this exact moment. We're gonna try a hostage escort. Oh geez, okay. So here's what we got, we have two fours. I'm gonna spin these two cards to change one of the fours into a success. So this will get spent. And then this will become a success, so we will get one hostage. But his threat level goes back up by one as well. But hey, at least we got somebody out, good lord. Okay, so with that done, we have three points to spend. Also, we can pick up all of our previous cards, so that's good, we got our zero point cards back. We are gonna buy the unused hostage escort again and try to get people out. We've got to get people out of there. So now that we've bought cards, this goes to zero and these guys can go back on the market. So the zeros just get ready for a pickup next time. And hopefully we'll have some conversation cards to buy stuff with. Now it's time for a terror phase. So I've got a bad feeling about this. His threat rate just went up another one. Man, this guy is rageful. It's not good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to cool him down a little more. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna guarantee success. Because again, call Barrett's BS once per conversation. If the threat level is three or greater, which it is, we can discard one conversation card to put him down one. So we're gonna keep pushing his threat level down. And we're gonna ask him to keep cool again. That totally did not work. So now we are at negative, that was a, some sort of failure. Now we're at negative one conversation points. Hmm. Okay, well let's small talk a little bit. Okay, we got one. So that's two points back out of the negatives. Let's small talk again. Come on, Barrett. Oh, Barrett does not want to talk. He just hung up on us. So all of our attempts to talk to him did nothing. We have one conversation point. We're gonna pick these up and we're gonna grab just to consider this for one point. That sucked. All right, so this is all gonna go over into the able to be picked up next turn pile. We have to resolve another terror card. Delayed escape. If any escape demand had already been conceded, the inductor escapes, that's okay. We can ignore the cost and the penalty for conceding any escape demand in the next conversation. If you concede an escape demand, turn it on its side, but leave it in play, then shuffle this card in with the remaining terror cards. Interesting. Okay, so this is a risky thing. Basically, I can concede his escape demand now and not have to pay for it, but this card gets shuffled back into the terror deck, and then if I had conceded it, when I pull this card again, he will escape and I will lose. Ooh. Ooh. I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't think we're gonna do that. I think we're just gonna, we're gonna delete, we're gonna get rid of that. Basically, I think you still discard it because it says, if you concede an escape demand, then shuffle this card. So we're just not gonna do it. No way, not gonna take that risk. At least no one died. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get bold. Let's try a hostage escort, see if we can get a couple people out. Come on, real good. Yes, two successes. He doesn't even get that mad about it. We got two hostages out. If we can get two more, we're in position to potentially win, but that's gonna be a tough order. Let's see if we can do it though. All right, excellent. So I think what we're gonna do actually is since that worked out really well, here's what I want, I think. We're gonna discard all three of these cards to get three conversation points because it's one per card. So let's just ditch these and get some conversation points back for our next buy round. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up all of our zeros during our buy round that are still left over there. And then we are gonna get another hostage escort and try to get two more people out for three conversation points. These will go back into the market slash, yeah, they'll go back on the market to be potentially purchased next time. We have a hand of cards and let's see what we have for terror. 
Ooh, and a hostage escape attempt. Make a threat roll. If we succeed, somebody gets out. If we fail, somebody gets killed. Oof. Let's see how it goes. Come on, hostage. Run for it, man. Yes! Success! He escaped. Ooh, okay. If we can get one more hostage, we are in a position to win this thing. Okay. So, that's that terror phase resolved. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so we can ask him to keep cool. We can do small talk with him. We can get a hostage escort. What is the best idea? All right, let's get bold. Let's go ahead and do this hostage escort. Come on, if we can get one more. Yes. Okay, so one hostage got out. He went up on his threat level a little bit, but he hasn't hung up on us yet. We're still on the phone. So he's like, what did you do? How'd you get that person out? What we're gonna do is we're gonna call him on his BS and force him down one more. Then we're gonna play another keep cool and see if we can kind of roll him down a little bit. Okay, that did not work. He does not want to keep cool. So there you go, I guess. Let's do a small talk then and see if we can get him on the phone to at least get a couple conversation points. Okay, we got a success, so it's two points. And we'll small talk again. Come on, Barry, you don't want to do this, man. Let's be calm and nice. So nice, three points, yes. Okay, we're up to four. So here's the deal. I do want to empty this hostage pool out, but it's also very important at this point to start thinking about how we're going to get rid of Barrett. There's two ways to get rid of an abductor. One is when a hostage would be released, but there are no more hostages left in the pool, you capture the abductor. The other is we can attempt to kill him with something like all snipers engage targets, but I need seven conversation points for that. So we got to think about what I want to do in terms of getting these hostages out alive if I can, and also getting him captured or killed. All right, so for our shopping phase, we're definitely picking these, these two cards back up. What are your demands? The thing is, I really want to get more conversation points. I'm not sure how to make this happen. Um, let's try, let's try little compromises for four. That could be interesting because if I do well with it, I get conversation points, a threat reduction and a hostage. And that seems like a good kind of balanced thing to do right now. So as you can see, this card kind of does a lot, depending on how successful we are. Of course, if we fail, um, someone dies. So let's try not to do that. So that puts our conversation points at none. Terror, I've got a bad feeling about this, so he's gonna go up one on his threat level. Now it's our go, so this stuff gets cleared out, put back on the market. All right, so let's go ahead and try our little compromises card and see how we do. It's risky. Ooh, okay, we got one success. Um, so we're gonna go up one conversation point. His threat level goes down one, and we get one more hostage out. So we've saved someone. Okay, good, good. All right, I think what, what I'm gonna do, that was one point that I earned. Um, let's see. Even though he has already um, told us his demands, I'm actually gonna go ahead and play these this time. So let's try it. Oh, we totally failed and this threat level went up one. I was gonna try to get some conversation points off that, but oops, I guess that didn't go very well. Let's try one more time. Okay, we got one success, so we get one more point. So it's something at least. So this is all gonna go away. We'll have a buy round. We're gonna get all of our zero point stuff back. We are gonna have two points to spend so here's the thing, I need to make sure that I get as many conversation points as possible for the next buy round because I think I want to try to eliminate him. I really do. Okay, yeah, I want to try all snipers engage targets. So I'm going to use my two conversation points to buy these two consider this is and use them to either help myself on rolls or spend them at the end of the turn for conversation points. We're gonna have a terror phase and it's pivotal events the next thing. Ooh, we have, we are really down to the line. Okay, hanging on every word. During the next conversation phase, you can spend a conversation point to ignore an end of conversation. Okay, so basically I'm allowed to keep him from hanging up on me if that's what I want by spending conversation points. 
All right, let's see what we can do. Let's do a little small talk. Small talk, two dice. Okay, we got a success, which is two points. Let's small talk again. Got another success, two points. Let's see if there's anything else that'll give us a little bit of help here. All right, let's go ahead and play keep cool. Hopefully I'll get a success. One success, so his threat level does go down one, so that's good. Let's play this other one to see if we can get that conversation point. Mm, no. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play my two consider this cards to get two more conversation points, which puts us at six. This is our pivotal event, and we really need to get him and this last hostage out of the pool in order to win. So we're gonna come down to a die roll, basically. I could have gone for seven points and done all snipers engaged targets. The problem with that is that if I don't succeed, or if I only partially succeed, then the second command will come in charge. The hostage pool will still have hostages in it, and I won't win because the timer is running out. What I'm gonna go for instead with my six points is secret extraction, because on two or one badge, what's going to happen is that um, I'm gonna be able to get the last hostage and the abductor out. If I fail, two hostages die, and I do get a hostage back, but this result cannot cause the abductor to surrender. So basically, I need a success real bad to try to win this. It's, we're down to this last die roll. So I'm gonna use my conversation points to buy this. The alert will come off. I'm gonna get these two zero demand cards back that were just, what are your demands? These will go away. And let's see what's under this pivotal event. Let's just get this over with. I can discard three cards face down for a hostage. I can do this as many times as I'm able. The abductor may not be captured due to this effect. So the thing is I've got to get him out. So we're gonna just go for it. We're gonna play Secret Extraction. We're gonna roll these two dice and really hope for success. If I don't get a success, I lose. Oh, okay. So see how we got this four? I've saved these two cards so that I can spend them, turn this into a success, and then we get two hostages. We get this one, and because there are no more hostages to capture, we get Barrett Mullins out. So for all that rage and all that wanting to call his mama, he only killed two people, thank God, and we have gotten him out to be captured alive. So this is a crime wave set of cards and um, an abductor. So I thought you guys might like to see like a little bit of variety on Hostage Negotiator. I hope that you enjoyed this playthrough, and if you did, please give me a like and a subscribe. Happy gaming!